what's up guys skittle rampage here so today we're over at pops and sun store because they have an in-store signing going on with boa hancock which is really awesome so i'm going to be getting a signed pop today as well as checking out the store and seeing if they have anything we need to add to the collection so let's go funko pop hunting and see what we can find all right guys so this is what the store is looking like inside right now and then we have Lydia signing over there, and then I believe this is the certification area, but it is all pops back there. So guys, I did have to buy a boa because mine wasn't in the best shape that I have in my collection, but I also bought an additional one to actually give away to you guys. All right guys, so she is signing the pop. She is super nice, by the way, if you ever get the chance to meet her. And then here's her little table of all the people she's voiced. I'm sure there's many more too. <laughs> Green's actually my favorite color, so that's perfect. It's my favorite too, that's why I chose it. That's awesome. People don't typically go for green right away, but I'm like, you know, you gave me the chance to do it, so I'm not going to do it. Alright guys, so this is the one I bought to give away to you guys. It does say Love Love Beam with her autograph. Again, she is really nice if you ever get the chance to meet her. She's super sweet. And this is the one I grabbed for myself. It has green and pink, and it says, why? It is because I am beautiful. Love that quote love how the autograph turned out here's a couple other signings they have coming up in september we have robert mccollum as well as we have casper johnny rico and then we have grace who is chrissy and then she's also a twitch streamer which is pretty cool so yeah make sure to check out their website if you guys want to pick up one i believe you can pre-order an autograph i gotta say guys this time around they definitely have way more funko pops than last time it's literally wall to wall i'm not even kidding i genuinely don't even know where to start so we're just gonna jump in i guess let's start over in this corner so we do have santa claus and bumble from the rudolph red nose reindeer set marcus burnett if you haven't seen the recent bad boys movie it was really good that's also a really good price down here we have a couple samurai jack pops some con exclusives we also have i love lucy there i forgot those pops existed and then we have Silicon Valley, 1883, and then some Tokidoki and Hello Kitty. Over here they have a ton of different Marvel Pops here, so I'm seeing some What If. We have Guardians of the Galaxy, a bunch of Spider-Man. I guess this is the majority of their Spider-Man here. So let's see if they have something I don't have and need. Not seeing anything yet. That's a great one. I have that one. I've thought about getting this one. I'm just still unsure. Manga vs. Spider-Man I might get again eventually. Doppelganger Spider-Man. I don't have that one. It's a really cool mold. Maybe? I don't know. I don't need too many Spider-Mans these days. Negative Suit is really cool. What was High Evolutionary, Star-Lord, Gore. Mm. Eh, I'm not seeing anything on this shelf I need. Over here we do have a couple Sonic Pops. We have Super Sonic First Appearance. I do have that one with the con sticker. We have Metal Sonic. Knuckles is really great. I do have this one. I forgot about Werehog. You guys know we have to go over the anime here. So we have Charlotte. We also have Black Asta there. Great exclusives. Then we have Uno Spirit of Zephyr, Noel Valkyrie Armor, a bunch more Black Clover, Fuego, Meliodas Glow Chase, a bunch of Seven Deadly Sins there. Nothing I need though. We have King, Gother, Zeldris, Luffy Gear 5, I already have the Chase, Armor Chopper, Trafalgar Law, Zoro Glow. Ooh, we do have a couple Dracula Mihawks as well as Caesar Clowns. Luffy Taro there, Snake Man Luffy armor, a lot of Luffy's. <laughs> uh, we have Nico Robin, Nami, Sniper King, another Nico Robin, Carrot. Lots of One Piece here. Unfortunately, I don't need any of these, and I don't think Bailey needs any either. Now, I'm not the biggest Disney fan. However, I do know I have some Disney collectors on my channel, so I do want to show you guys some of the Disney stuff. Uh, Mickey Mouse here. I mean, this is all pretty much Mickey and Minnie, so I don't need to say Mickey a million times. Evil Queen's a cool little older pop. How old is this one? Look at that, 2016. Wow, almost 10 years old. Over here, we have a couple of the Alien Remix Pops, like Kevin and Zerg. We have Negatron, that's a cool one. Cogsworth, Professor Owl, Merida, another Merida. Ariel from the live action. Oh, Kronk, that's so cool. He's actually coming to uh, PopCon in Orlando, I think, later this year. It would be cool to get a pop signed by him. But yeah, that, that's really funny. I haven't seen this movie in a hot minute. We have Duke Kaboom there, Stitch. Uh, some Alice in Wonderland, some of the Muppets, Christmas Carol, Encanto there, Socks. Ooh, that's pretty cool. We got a uh, Trafalgar Law and Polar Tang. I do have that one. I would probably grab this for Bailey if it wasn't all scratched up on the side there, unfortunately. Uh, we have some two packs here from Stranger Things, Harry Potter and Buckbeak. And it looks like a lot of six inch pops up there, all kinds of stuff. Oh, they got a couple anti venoms in the case there. Back to Disney, guys, we have some Hades. We also have Mary Poppins with Umbrella, Dr. Facilier, Snow White with the um, exclusive pen, 
Hercules with mini Hercules, the action figure. Oh, look at this, a couple big Hero 6. That's neat, actually. So we have Gogo, Honey, uh, Wasabi, and Fred. We have some Avatar Pops there, the Nickelodeon set. Love, love, love these. We have a couple Care Bears and Chases. Now, this is actually a pretty cool one, Daryl Dixon's Chopper. I gotta fight myself to not buy this today because I've been watching The Walking Dead again recently. And this, oh man, this might be a pickup. Up on this top shelf, we have a couple Deluxes. So we have Vash with Angel Arm. Actually, I actually haven't seen this one in person, but that weird little box design they did there has to be an unintentional misprint there anyways the pop itself is just crazy detailed though we also have xyz dragon cannon thanos with throne such a unique box for that really cool figure though then we have exodia the forbidden one dr strange supreme unleash yamato hungry big mom child big mom chase with the regular and for nosuke Brumok, it's a pretty cool one. I'm sure the Gears of War pop might go up with the new game coming out. Zetsu, Kisame, and then a couple two packs. Check out these pops over here. We have a couple of the like Funko mascots. So we have TJ here, it looks like purple, and then like a red version, and then a couple more of the like, I guess these are the own custom created characters. We have Flaky, I think that's how you pronounce that, and Psycho Shriner. Then we have Frank Von Wiener, uh, Douglas, Ozzy. This is their Around the World set, which is pretty cool. They come with like little pens there. So you can still actually collect them all. And I think they even have like a book for the pens. Then we have a couple of the um, Camp Fun Days ones, the Heavy Halloween ones. Some cool ones for sure. And then more Freddy's on this side. Well, we got Freddy Funk Goes Merlin, Hollywood, Skiing, Protomoto Wolves. Um, and then it looks like a bunch of different ad icons. Over on this back shelf, we actually have a bunch of different Naruto. So it looks like some of the older ones mixed in with newer exclusives like Obito or Jiraiya. Uh, we have Neji, Jurassic Sage. Right here we have Pain, Hinata. We also have the Naruto uh, KLM mode, Killer B Chase, Naruto Six Pats Glow, Madara back there, Neji Chase, Kawaki. Kaliki Glow. Well, I guess they're both Glow. <laughs> we have Sarada with the shutting gun. Such a great pop. Look at that mold. Crazy. Boruto Chakra Blade. Boruto Rasengan. That Shoto Todoroki is also really crazy. I still want to get the Glow variation of that if I get at least one Todoroki. Right here we have a couple Jujutsu Kaisen pops. We have Toge, Yuji Tadori, Mai, uh, Mahito, Panda, the flocked one. I almost said Glow for some reason. We have Nobara. Ken Kaneki, that feels kind of random. Oh, we have Gato back there. Trevor, that's a pretty cool one from Castlevania. They recently made the Nocturne set. We have Fire Force. Looks like a bunch of Inuyasha there. Oh, they even got some Kios back here from Fruits Basket. That's neat. Bunch of Saint Seiya Golds. That's a really cool set. I feel like it's very underrated. I never finished Saint Seiya, so I never picked these up, but they're cool pops. Down here, we do have a couple more Tokyo Ghoul pops. You know, I'm seeing it. And I think I might just actually pick up Juzo because this is such a sick pop. And I don't really care about much of the other Tokyo Ghoul Re pops, but I really like this one. So I think I'm going to grab this today. Over here, guys, we have a couple different Bleach pops. We even have a Hinami Chase, which is pretty neat. Azula there, Toph. We have a bunch of the Avatar pops, Suki and Momo. Then it looks like we have a few different Attack on Titan. Nothing I really need there. They do have Zeke Yeager over there, Mikasa, Yelena. And then a bunch of Q Pops, if you didn't know they made Q Pops, as well as Bakugan. That's also a very underrated set. A couple of Dragon Ball Z Pops over here, as well as Full Metal Alchemist. We do have Goku with Wings. Still haven't been able to find a chase for this one. We also have Goku Kaioken times 20, Rose, Maj Vegeta, Raccoon, Goldo. Looks like the full Ginyu Force. Then the new Jiren, Shen, Gohan. Oh, they have the Glow Maj Vegeta. I've been debating if I want to pick this one up. I don't know. I already have the regular common, but the glow is really cool in this one. Let me know if you guys have this pop and if it's worth it or not. Back here is their Star Wars wall. We have all kinds of crazy stuff here. Luke Skywalker, Tatooine, General Grievous, First Order Stormtrooper, bunch of Grogu's there. Venom, that's not Star Wars, but I'm just showing it. <laughs> a few Boba Fett's. We have Captain Phasma. Always been a really cool pop to me. We have the Concept Series Stormtrooper, some Dark Troopers, Hunter Kamino. Oh, I like the little pen in there. Uh, what do we got? Darth Vader there. I think that's where he's dying, if I'm not mistaken. We have some of the Valentine's Day set over here. The Mithril Padme from the Power of the Galaxy set. A few more over here. We have some Umbrella Academy down here. Yellowstone. Little BB-8. Ah, I forget, what was that? Oh, Pops with Purpose line. We have the Queer Eye Pops as well. Some, oh, which movie is this? Is this Interview with a Vampire? 
Is that what this is? Yes, yes it is. Over here guys, we have tons of different Pokemon Pops. We have Umbreon, Pikachu, Growlithe. We also have Glaceon there, the flocked one, Pikachu, Pidgeotto. Love that Pidgeotto Pop. I do wish it was a little bigger, but it's a cool one. Then we have Wooloo, Oshawa, Snubble, Munchlax, Glaceon, Luxray. Definitely some fun ones here. Looks like we also have a few Yu-Gi-Oh! We have Harpy Lady and it's Chase. Blue Eyes White Dragon back there. The Summon Skull, Yami, Kuribo, the Flock to Glow. Time Wizard, Joey Wheeler, Yami, Maximilian. And then we also have a few different fairy tale. We have Mirror Jane, Gray. It's getting a little loud in here. Sorry, guys. There's a lot of people. Loxus, Jalal, Mavis. And then I've never known how to pronounce that character's name. Over here, guys, I'm noticing a lot of different anime exclusives and a bunch of other stuff mixed in. We have Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon, Greninja, Go Culture Instinct. Um, we have Saitama, Garo, Garo the Glow, Hokage Naruto Glow, Alex Armstrong. He's really fell in price recently. We have Vegeta powering up, Katsuki Bakugo, Pennywise, Drogun, Drift, always one of the coolest Fortnite pops. Courage Kylie Dog Flocked, Vegeta NYCC, Itachi, Metallic Perfect Cell, Tamaki. We have Faye, oh this is the original one that's pretty cool. She's such a small pop too. Kagome. We also have Ben, the shopkeeper from It, Big Lebowski, some Freddy Funkos, Tally's always a pretty funny pop. Oh, the Minotaur, we got a couple of myths over here. Sloth from the Goonies. If you haven't seen the Goonies, I recommend it. Frieza, Luke Skywalker, Bluebell, My Little Pony. What do we got up here? Anything else? Super Saiyan 2, Gohan's pretty good. Robot Gurr, Miles Morales Chase, Joker Chase. Um... See if there's anything else over here. Con stickers. Firestorm there. All kinds of stuff. Loki, Harley Quinn, Winter Soldier, Vision, Magneto. Oh, look at that bloody protector on Venom. Love that. We have Two-Face Imposter, Batwoman, Loki, Old Man Logan, Star-Lord. All kinds of fun stuff. Another Sloth, Duffman, Mr. Hanky. One of the grossest pops. Maleficent Chase. Over here, a few more Walking Dead. We have Negan, Daryl Dixon with Dog, uh, Jesus, and we have Teddy Bear Girl. Definitely a pretty cool one. Rick Grimes there. And it looks like lots of different ad icons there. Over on this case display, there's all kinds of pops, guys. Sanji up there, Yako from Animaniacs, 12th Doctor, Guy, The Devil. We have some... Uh, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, or Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. I don't know why I say Charlie. <laughs> Roller Skating Stewart, Mr. Spacely, Original Vanellope. Let's see what's in the case here. Daredevil, Punisher Chase, Laura Croft. I do have that one. I think that's the one I have, or have the other one. King Dice, Green Goblin, Asuka, Muttley there, All Might Weekend, Freddy Batman. Uh, we have Stevani from Steven Universe, Vex Alia. It's a cool pop. Uh, Mike TV from Willy Wonka, Hector, Frankie, the original one with the nose, some ad icons, Trix Rabbit, Plato doh Pete, Powerline, Freddie Mercury there, and then lots more stuff down here, it just keeps going in here guys, Stone Cold, Eli Manning, uh, Toru, Gus in Pajamas, Weeping Angel, also a really cool pop, The Glow Hulk, Another Green Goblin, Robin, Skyrim's pretty cool, Buffy the Vampire. Oh, and Superman Man of Steel, love that one. Hey guys, so it was kind of just an abrupt ending there in the store because I ended up leaving kind of abruptly due to the fact that it was gonna start storming and like raining probably really bad and I didn't wanna go over like a really long bridge in that crazy rain because the amount of rain Florida's been getting in the last like few days has just been nuts. So, I'm home now. It was a lot of fun. Loved meeting Lydia to get my pop sign. That was great. Um, you probably saw that earlier in the video. First like two minutes. I also picked one up to give away to you guys. I haven't decided where that's going to be, whether it's here on YouTube or maybe on Instagram or something like that. So stay tuned for that. Um, please don't ask me a million times because I have no details right now. As far as my other pickup, which was Juzo here, we do need to add this one to the collection. And my Tokyo Ghoul collection is down here. I pretty much have all of them. Yeah, it's a complete collection. I'm thinking about getting rid of this Chrome Kim Kaneki though. Not really one I need, honestly. I have the regular one. And I have the glow one. 
For now, though, we are going to place Juzo in the collection. Look how amazing this mold is. Again, I had to pick up at least one of them. Can he stand without his base stand? Oh, he can. I'm going to have to pull out his base stand. And voila, it is all flush now again. Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know I don't do very many Funko Pop hunts, so when I do do them, I really do hope you enjoy them. And of course, I always try to make more. However, it's kind of just dependent on what's dropping in stores or, you know, I'm kind of being more picky and selective with the pops I buy for my collection. So just going out there and buying a bunch of stuff is not really my style for videos i like to specifically buy the things that i really really want but there are a couple comic cons coming up next month that i'm very excited for so you will see much more fungo bob hunts in july and august i think with that being said though hit the like button down below if you did enjoy and subscribe and click that notification bell if you're new here i do want to say a big shout out to all the awesome patrons for the channel you guys are amazing for supporting myself and the channel if you guys are interested and want to check out the page on the link is down below we have a page only discord where we share a lot of information news restocks updates links and more and lastly make sure you follow me on all my social media Media is that skater on page over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.